Hi everyone, welcome to Medsketch. The toxin of the day is phosphorus. For ease, we have named the scene as phosphorescence on moon. So phosphorus is one of the important toxins in our toxicology series. So let's talk about the category of phosphorus. So you can see in the middle of scene, there is a yellow board with a cross that is repeated in our videos. So the class of phosphorus is non-metallic irritant. So let's talk about the fatal dose and fatal period of phosphorus. So the fatal dose and fatal period are represented by a card on the right side of the scene and on the top of the card it is written price for day 24 60 with sugar and 120 with butter as you can see the card is having butter and sugar and some oil on it so the price is for 24 days so the fatal period would be 24 hours 60 rupees with sugar and 120 rupees with butter so 60 to 120 mg is the fatal dose of phosphorus so basically there are two forms of phosphorus one is the white crystalline one and red as amorphous one so the white crystalline form is represented by our moon surface as you can see the moon is luminant and it is radiant and it is white in color on the other hand, you can see a red planet in the background that represents the Mar that is red in color. So let's talk about the white crystalline form. So you can see a pit on the left bottom of moon that is emitting some fumes. So let's talk about the white crystalline form. So the white phosphorus is also known as yellow phosphorus because it turns yellow when it is exposed to air. So keep it from igniting, it is often submerged in the water and it glows in the dark and emits dense white clouds of phosphoric acid. So for the same reason, we have represented the white crystalline form as the surface of moon. So the vapors emit a soft yellow glow that is known as phosphorescence and that's why we have named the scene as phosphorescence on the moon. On the other hand, we can see our red planet that is representing the red phosphorus. It is inert and it is non-luminous, amorphous and odorless as represented by our Mars. So uh, let's talk about the mechanism of action. So mechanism of action is represented by a broken helmet just in front of the card. And on the card, we can see butter and sugar that are placed on the countertop. So basically, phosphorus is a protoplasmic poison. It affects cellular oxidation and it interferes with the glucose and lipid metabolism. So it is represented by sugar on the counter and butter on the counter representing glucose and lipid metabolism. So under such conditions of cellular oxidation, the metabolism of cells diminishes and it is known as necrobiosis. So just remember, necrobiosis is when metabolism of cell is diminished, which is classically manifested in the liver. So just remember that our prototype helmet on the ground represents the protoplasmic poison and the glucose and lipid metabolism are diminished. So let's talk about the sign and symptoms of acute poisoning. So they are represented by a naked boy on the right side of the scene and a boy that is in the washroom on the left side of the scene. So we have draw red esophagus stomach and throat and that is representing burning in the throat, stomach and esophagus that happens in the acute poisoning. On the left side of the scene, you can see a boy on the toilet that is vomiting and there is fluid on the ground. Also, you can see a garlic sign in the toilet. So that is representing nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and garlic taste in the mouth. So these all symptoms are due to the local irritation in the GIT. The boy on the right side and the boy on the left side. They are representing the sign and symptoms that are due to the local irritation in GIT tract. Secondary, due to the action of absorbed poison, we can also get sign and symptoms. So you can see in the middle of scene that there is a boy that is wearing a yellow shirt, having blood from the nose, yellow eyes, and there are red spots on his right arm. So that is uh, representing the sign and symptoms of absorbed poison. And you can also see the liver is mentioned on the shirt. 
so it represents that we have enlarged liver jaundice fatty degeneration purpura and epistaxis as these symptoms are also important in the post mortem appearance so i'll repeat them so the liver is representing the liver enlargement the yellow shirt is representing jaundice and you can also see uh, yellow spots that are representing the fatty degeneration the red spots on the right side are representing the purpura and blood from the nose is representing the epistaxis also you can see a sign of pregnant woman with a cross on it on the left side of the scene that is representing that pregnant woman abort with alarming flooding of blood from it so just in the middle of scene you can see our boy and beside the boy there is a mirror and there is reflection of boy but you can see in the reflection one addition thing is that kidneys are also drawn in the figure and you can see yellow fumes coming from the mirror so the body could be malnourished and could have a garlicky odor also the borders are yellow representing jaundice and also you can see that uh, kidneys are drawn one additional feature would be that apart from fatty degeneration and hemorrhages there is cloudy swelling in liver as well as kidneys and there could be erosion of mucous membrane in case of local irritation and stomach and intestinal contents are also having a garlicky odor and are luminous in the black as we talked earlier there is phenomena of phosphorescence so just remember that the post mortem appearance is quite similar to the secondary actions of absorbed poison as we have shown the mirror just additional feature would be that there is swelling in the kidneys and there is a garlicky odor so let's talk about the medical legal importance so you can see on the left side in the background fireworks are taking place so yellow phosphorus is an ingredient in fireworks and certain rodents and insect killer as well so accidental death in children is quite common as you have seen that in the post mortem appearance we have shown a boy also it can be used in homicidal poisoning cases because the symptoms are quite similar to the acute liver disease as you talked earlier that is fatty degeneration and liver enlargement one important feature that you can represent from the name of the scene is phosphorescence on the moon that phosphorus can be detected even in putrefied bodies so let's talk about the chronic poisoning it is one of the most important feature of phosphorus poisoning so i have explained it after medical legal aspect so we can have some time so the chronic poisoning is represented by a skull figure that is on the top of our cart so it is representing fossy jaw phenomena known as fossy jaw so let's see what is fossy jaw so basically fossy jaw is osteomyelitis of the jaw bone as you can see the jaw bone is open and the jaw bone has multiple sinuses with discharging foul smelling pus so basically fossy jaw result from frequent inhalation of phosphorus fumes for years the gas commonly attacks the lower jaw in the region of decayed tooth where the superative microorganism are already present and they enter the tooth space and cause the symptoms that are tooth ache swelling of the jaw loosening of the teeth necrosis of gums and ultimately sequestration of the bone in the mandible so just remember from the jaw that fossy jaw is related to phosphorus poisoning so let's talk about the treatment so you can see our classic gastric lavage bottle just in front of the card so gastric lavage is indicated also you can see on the counter there is a purple bottle that is having label of KMnO4 so potassium permanganate is used as an antidote for phosphorus poisoning also you can see on the right corner of the card there is a drip that is representing iv saline in shock conditions and peritoneal and hemodialysis are also indicated so just remember gastric lavage potassium permanganate as antidote iv saline and peritoneal and hemodialysis so it was all about phosphorus poisoning it was a bit lengthy video so i hope you would have got the insight of phosphorus poisoning just remember that fossy jaw is related to phosphorus poisoning phenomena of phosphorescence and it is present in decayed bodies if you have any question just drop in the comment section till then take care
For detailed literature of toxins, refer our textbook, Excel Forensic Medicine and Toxicology, available at all major medical bookstores all over Pakistan.